Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome sweeties to today's video which is going to be all about my 10 least used palettes and eyeshadow palettes, okay? So this is not of course throwing any shade on the brands, it's just because, I don't know, there is a big turnover in my collection anyway, so it's not really like I'm using a, one single palette like all the time, regularly. There is no such thing in my life because of course I'm testing a lot of new makeup. Now ever since I started to uh, do reviews instead of first impressions I am starting to use every single palette more at the time but then I'm moving on to the next one and I'm using that then more. So usually before that when I just did first impressions I was doing a first impression then I put it to the side and then I worked with something else and put it to the side. So now I actually do get a better impression of what I'm having and working more with a single product. But still, there are a lot of things that sort of fall on the side of the road, sort of. I don't know if one says it like this in English, but anyway, fall to the roadside or something like this, right? So anyway, um, and I'm going to just uh, show you the 10 that I think as of right now are my least used palettes. So that is not necessarily because they are bad quality. Sometimes it's really just the color scheme or we will talk about it, okay? And they are not in any way ranked uh, according to their importance or how bad they are or how little they are used. They're sort of all on the same level. Okay, so let's maybe just start with uh, Makeup Revolution. Okay, so this is actually I Heart Revolution and this might come as a shock to you, but listen, I have not used the Avocado palette ever since I have done the first impression video. And it's not because it's a bad palette, it's actually, it performed really, really well and you can find the, the corresponding video on my channel. Um, it is a nice palette, it's just not my favorite formula. It is okay, if it works fine and for the price it is actually pretty pretty good but it's not my favorite and by now I mean I think I bought this last summer which is 2019 July, I don't know, whenever it released, that's when I bought it because I instantly loved the color scheme. And as you know, I'm crazy for greens, right? Um, not according to today's look, <laughs> which by the way, I have done with the Glam Light Cake palette. But anyway, that look is going to come up in my review video of the Glam Light Pick Cake palette. <laughs> At some point okay some point soon so anyway um i ordered this when it released immediately and i did the video and ever since then it has been lying here because it's just not my favorite what can i say you know uh okay so the next thing i actually ordered at the same time also from revolution and that is this one, the Forever Flawless Ice Palette. Again, it's a spectacular color scheme. It's probably really, I, I probably like this even more than the green one, color scheme wise, because I think the range from light to dark is much, much uh, better executed in this palette. Also, I don't know, performance wise, it probably ranks sort of on the same level because also for that, I filmed a first impression and I did a super winged out cut crease for both of them. And uh, back then for all my first impressions, I did these winged out cut creases, if you remember. And um, it performed super well. It looked really, really nice, but still it's just not my favorite formula, even though like the packaging, like everything, really. But I don't know, what can I say? That's what it is. Okay, so maybe let's move on to the next palette that is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette. This is actually, and I feel super guilty about a couple of the things that I'm going to show you because they were sent to me by my best friend and uh, she spent money on this, you know, so I feel very guilty um, about not using them more, but by now I have so much that I also bought myself that I just really, really, really like. And that's why these things are sort of being left behind a little bit. Okay, so this is Too Faced. It smells divine. It smells like chocolate, which is, you know, it's it's too good to be true and I should really stay away from this because it's too tempting. So anyway, color scheme wise, um, this was actually one of the first palettes that I got and um, I did not know so much yet of back then when I got this, about like two years ago now probably, I didn't know so much really about where I wanted to take myself in my style and you know, I was still trying myself out, which was good. It gave me a good, good way to try myself out because 
there are some colors um this one actually went hard pen immediately the purple here i don't know it could also be because back then i was really really inexperienced with makeup and it could be that that's what it was if you have that palette and you experienced something like this with the shimmers in your palette maybe let me know because i would like to know if it's just because of me not knowing how to do it yet when i was still using this palette more so um i have actually used this quite a bit in, in photo shoots also with clients or with models but uh, for myself I'm not really using it anymore you know because I also have now uh, several neutral palettes that I really really like and yeah I don't know it's just it's just that you know it's sort of it had its time and now we've moved on yeah okay next thing is sort of on the same level because it's also a neutral palette which is the royal affair palette from bh cosmetics in a recent video i have also said that um bh cosmetics and i we sort of have broken contact a little bit because i have not purchased anything from or gotten anything from a bh cosmetics in a long time because like all 2019 i didn't get anything really because it was just not really not really so interesting to me maybe because of the zodiac signs um disaster thing that just i know a lot of people liked it i just personally didn't you know so anyway this is not a bad palette i'm not saying that this is a bad palette it's just color scheme wise a little bit too Mm, for me you know um i do like that you have a, a version of like rosy neutrals rosy neutrals i know rosy neutrals here so so it is really a versatile palette it's just for me i don't know i'm not reaching for it a whole lot you know first of all i'm not doing a whole lot of looks in this color scheme and also i don't know the shimmer formula and i'm not a hundred percent super crazy about it you know so th that yeah <laughs> what can i say so the next thing is my only palette from pacifica so this is the love stoned palette I don't know if you can see it love stone palette and i also got this one and by the way also this one i'm so sorry from my best friend so anyway um this she gave to me because back then i was still doing the um, tribal stone series i haven't done that in uh, the longest time i should really get back to it but you know stuff just i don't know gets lost in in all the craziness so anyway so she gave me this because it sort of fit to the themes of my videos you know and she thought it was cute so this is this is how the palette looks and i think um it is of course a smaller palette because these here are the eyeshadows those nine and these are highlighters the highlighters i actually really really liked at least those two this one was a little bit uh too gray for me but um these i actually really really liked now the eyeshadows performed actually pretty well it's just that you have those four mattes here and i do think that there is just not a lot of like a lot of looks that you can do just with those mattes you know and as you know mattes are really really important for my looks i really really like to have an abundance of mattes so considering that there are these highlighters that you could also use at least as toppers for the mattes or something and create more colors i personally would have preferred it if there would have been instead of those four shimmers here two more mattes together with those uh, four mattes and then i would just have used the highlighter shades and sort of created my own shimmer shades with those you know combining them with the mattes so yeah that is it it's not a bad palette it's just it is what it is you know this this really applies to all of them i'm not against the brands or against the formula really like nothing is terrible uh, because otherwise i would have decluttered it it's just that i have so much stuff yet now so it's you know and I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Next thing is a fun blush tribe. It's the Blossom palette. So this hasn't really gotten a lot of use. I probably made like two looks with this and never just used this one palette because it is an all matte palette and the performance was okay. Um, I also liked it that there is a black in the palette because I really, really like that in pesto palettes. Um, but performance wise, you know it was just okay so i have other palettes from blush tribe that were much much better in like what i think you know for example the hasina 2 palette is still one of my most favorite palettes of all times you know i don't know i just with a, a pure matte palette <laughs> i don't know it's better for me than a pure shimmer palette but still it sort of bores me a little bit 
you know so maybe I should have back then gone and bought some some like loose pigments or something or some topper shades or, or whatever they back then offered of course maybe you know that blush tripe has closed shop by now so I kind of feel like I'm, I'm beating a, a, like a dead horse which I sort of feel sorry about because you know blush tripe is not there anymore so but I still you know it's still true I'm still going to use my blush tripe palettes but this is of all my blush tripe palettes this is the the one that I use the least and that I probably also like the least because of color scheme because of just mattes and I don't know the performance was just okay I think other um, palettes from Blush Tribe performed much much better so that was that then Root Cosmetics yes sweeties I know you have heard me <laughs> You have heard me saying so many good things about Root Cosmetics and um, there is actually one palette that I don't like so much and that is this one. This is the Lingerie Collection Naughty Nights palette. Okay, so this, this is the one. Now, color scheme wise, it is actually really, really good, but also this palette is only mattes. Now, I knew that when I was buying it, you know, it was not a surprise. And also, uh, the Root Cosmetics is very affordable compared to other brands. So it wasn't like a huge investment that I lost now, but I kind of feel like I did, I think, one look with this palette and it's just, it was okay, you know? <laughs> Maybe I'm spoiled now. That sounds horrible, but um, I'm gaining more and more experience and also within a brand when I have uh, more than one palette and I can compare them. For example, the uh, Roaring Twenties collection or the series performs, in my opinion, way, way better than this the Laundry collection. But I don't know if it's just me, if it's just like what I'm thinking or if it is really, really true that there is a difference in the formula. Uh, but th this is how it... Like, like how I feel it okay not a bad palette especially also for the price it's not a bad palette and um, I love Root Cosmetics as you all know but um, this one is probably my least favorite of all my Root Cosmetics palettes and I have probably six or so something like that so I haven't even used all of them yet that I have yeah okay so let's uh, I should have included that earlier so that's another revolution palette and that was a spur of the moment buy and I used that for my first impression video this is the Alexis Stone palette from uh, revolution and I used it I think one more time after that so this is how it looks and it is actually a really really cool palette nothing against the palette it comes also with this accompanying little palette with all the shimmer shades or topper shades or I think she called it transformation shades so I don't know if you can see that you know there is sort of a shift to um, each of them and depending on on uh, what mat you put them um, it sort of you know transforms the mats underneath which is a nice idea because it gives you you know a whole lot of options because this is all mats okay so I have done actually looks not using everything but I used for example this column here and I think I think in, in my first impression look, I, I went like all over the place. So I have used quite a few shades of this palette and there is nothing wrong with it. It performs well and I stand to what I said in my first impression video that this is a good palette and I think also one saw it in the video that the look came out nicely. It's just again, I... I bought this on the spur of the moment when it released because I liked it, but then I don't know again it just fell to the roadside you know which is sort of a shame um because it's also a big palette and i love big palettes as you know right and those transformation shades that's actually a very very intriguing idea maybe i should should i swatch something for you but you know what they also like two of them immediately hard panned or three of them even so um they're not not like super smooth but um i don't know if one can anyway see anything that i'm swatching <laughs> but this is for example it looks like brownish grayish and then it also has like a terracotta red shift like the, the shades are really really nice and i like it it's maybe really just because i have this big turnover so my really really old palettes even though this is not super old um i don't know they just get left behind you know sorry but yeah sorry my palettes I'm so sorry okay then we have placed 9 and 10 and that goes to Morphe so 
<sighs> anyway, so let's talk about this one. Um, that was a limited edition palette, I think, from summer 2019. So this was, I think, live your life, color your life, live in, co live in color, I think. I don't remember anymore. Live in color um, a palette. I, I bought this because I believe it was Paulina from Paulina Beauty um, who was raving about this palette and I bought it and I don't like it so much. I did a couple of looks with this. I think I did... I, I tried to film a first impression and I deleted the footage because I was totally off on that day and I just hated myself. So uh, halfway through filming, I just deleted the footage and I was like, I'm going to do makeup without filming and be done with it. So there was never a formal first impression, but I did use this palette once later when I did a chatty get ready with me. I used this one. Um, it was okay. It was not spectacular at all. And I don't know what the rave was about, but I didn't really, you know, connect to this palette at all. And then really the one where I don't really know what's happening happening is uh, this one, the Morphe and James Charles palette. Because when that came out, my husband was in America on a business trip. And I asked him, please, please get this palette for me. Let me just open this for you and show it to you. That is about... When was that? Maybe in March or February 2019, I want to say. So this is the big version. By now, he has come, of course, uh, he's come out with a small version that is exactly the same, but small, I think. And it also has a mirror, the smaller version, this one not. Okay. So anyway, I have used this palette twice. I think <laughs> this big palette, I have used it twice. And that is just a shame, you know? I. The, I think I've used um, the blues and the purples. I don't think, I think these I have used here, but there are so many shades that I haven't even touched. And it's just a, such a huge waste of money. You know, that is so, such a shame. And I'm so, I feel guilty. But on the other hand, I kind of detached myself a little bit also from Morphe. Maybe that is also sort of playing a part in this because, there has just been so much going on that so vibes against the brand like in me it vibes against the brand and i'm sort of on a break from morphe i have an amazing palette lying right here which was the make and bank palette that released i think in the beginning of january i still haven't touched it because i kind of feel like do do i even want to film with that do i even want to make photo shoots and sort of give a morphe cloud sort of you know because at some point i'm going to publish those pictures and people are going to see that i used a morphe palette and right now i don't feel like doing that even though i have heard people say or youtubers say that that palette actually really really was good you know so what can i say i mean i'm going to use the things that i have for example the bronze golds palette from morphe is still one of my most favorite uh, neutrals palettes you know there was also the such a gem palette which was mostly purple which i really really like also not using a whole lot but i liked it um what else is from morphe don't know right now so anyway i don't have a whole lot of morphe palettes but um i do in general like what i have and have used it maybe i don't know five six times <laughs> that might sound crazy for some people but anyway but this one i have used the least and of all of the palettes that you've seen here today this inspires me also the least you know i don't know i don't know what it is maybe it's james charles i don't know yeah. All right. So that is that. Those were my 10 least used palettes as of right now. Now, if I were to do the same video in half a year, maybe I should because it's going to be completely different. Probably, you know, because I don't know if I'm going to get back to stuff or maybe not. Maybe I'm going to develop new favorites and and new dislikes or I maybe I go I'll go completely different like in my in my likings in the sense of what color schemes I'm going for. Maybe I'm going to turn totally neutral. Who knows? You know, so just saying that uh, this is just really a like taking a picture of this moment as of right now, which is like the middle of April 2020. Crazy times. Crazy times will always be remembered for being in isolation. And I just don't know if any other mom of seven looks like this in isolation. <laughs> Sweeties, I'm so grateful for my job. I am so grateful that I have this because I can make myself feel good with so little effort and I can just still, you know, feel like a queen 
in my home even though nobody gets to see it well you do through the cap camera lens but like in my real life nobody gets to see it and my kids don't care my husband doesn't care my rabbits don't care so yeah <laughs> anyway so uh, we just spent some time here together as uh, as girlfriends and i hope you did enjoy and if you of course like those palettes that i showed you then enjoy them you know i'm not saying that because i'm not grabbing them so much that you shouldn't okay it's all it's just makeup it's you know whatever everybody wants to do is whatever everybody wants to do it's not that deep okay so besides that i just really hope that you enjoyed maybe it just entertained you a little bit and we spent some time together which is great and uh, that is it for today so if you did like the video give it a like if you didn't like it then give it a dislike apparently <laughs> um if you liked what you saw then please subscribe to my channel if you're new here and i'll see you here next time for my next video which is going to be super soon and up until then go ahead and sparkle hugs and kisses bye